My name is Hans Keller. Uh, one of the things that I found is a, that really surprised me, because I had no idea this when I got into the industry, was that how many people are addicted to the opiates and to the painkillers. And this really enlightened me because I never realized this addiction was going on on the other side of it and how people want to get off the opiates and get onto something else that can help them out and help them through the pain, help them be able to sleep at night, help them to function on an everyday uh, level. The people that are, are typically against it don't have an understanding or don't want to have an understanding of what it can do, you know, especially for the suffering that's going on. The doctors have their way of going about it with the opiates and they want to look at medical marijuana sometimes as if we know you're using medical marijuana we're taking you off the opiates and they don't want to work in conjunction they th more likely threaten the threaten the patients that you know we're going to drug test you and if we find that you've been doing medical marijuana we're taking you off the Vicodin or we're taking you off the, the pain management that they're doing and to me we need to have this being merged together. We have to have the doctors understanding what's going on and how it's benefiting that patient in that, in that particular genre. And so, I mean, to me, research is crucial. You know, I can only hope that we're moving on the right path to understanding and, and providing people with, you know, the help that they need, because that's what we're all here for. Well, if I was talking to a politician in a state where medical marijuana was illegal, I would tell them, please do your research, do your studies, look at the people that need help. I mean, we're, we're seeing it all over now. This isn't something that's under the cover so much anymore. And uh, I would hope that they will look past the partisanship and, 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 you know, the demonization of it and look for the medical benefits that are really there.